Welcome to our YouTube channel, All America Selections Flowers and Vegetables. Today I'm going to show you how you can seed start onions and leeks indoors. And you want to start these, sometimes I say 10 to 12 weeks, but it's really going to be somewhere between 8 and 12 weeks before you can get them outside. And they can go outside when it's colder, they can go outside when there's a frost, so you're not waiting for a non-frost state. They can take, you know, a light freeze. They're practically indestructible. Well, what does that mean? These have been growing five weeks. Today is the 25th of January. I dropped the seed on December 20th. And they are only about five weeks into the growing period. I'm gonna let these grow another four weeks or so. They're gonna thicken up the root mass. Let's see, which one do I wanna pull out? Let me pull this one out over here. The root mass is going to look like this all the way up to the top. They're very wiry roots. You can't really harm them. And then we're going to pull these apart individually and put them right into the ground. You just poke your finger into the ground after you loosen the ground up, drop it in, pinch around it. You can let these get large in here. You're not worried about any type of damage. So that's a good thing because you can pack a lot into these little cells. I'm going to show you how to do it. You, the leeks, these are actually American flag leeks. They, they're planted the same exact way as the onions. I'm just going to do the onions today because I want more red onions. I'm going to plant red burgundies. The seeds are pretty large. If you can't find these containers, something like this size, go ahead and get these eight ounce, cu eight, eight, yeah, <laughs> eight ounce cups and make sure you po poke a hole in it because when we water our plants, we water from the bottom and you always want your containers to have drainage. So, in a container about this size, you know, the size of that cup, you really want to put in probably 20 to 30 seeds. I kind of overdid it here, but that's fine. There's probably 40 plus in there, and there's too few in there. So somewhere between 20 and 30 seeds, and you can just take a pinch, and right there, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, about 15 right there. So you're just going to sprinkle them on the surface. Sprinkle them around. I'm going to get another pinch, get to my 20 to 30 seeds. And then you just mix them in about a quarter inch deep. Don't worry about going too far. Just don't, you don't want them sitting on the surface. So mix them in. and press it down. When you're using your seed starting mix, you want to pre-moisten this, fill it up once, press it down and fill it up again. You want a lot of starting mix in here. You don't want it to be too loose from top to bottom. You want it to be well packed in there. If you're going to use the cells right here, you're going to put in anywhere from, I don't know, eight to 10 in here. Again, they can really get large. The roots can tangle. When you get to size in about eight to 12 weeks, you're gonna just pull them apart. Now there's different kinds of onions. There's short days, and I'm just looking, I'm trying to get about 10 in each of those. There's short day onions, medium day or intermediate onions, and long day onions. And the only way you know where you are is to look up online onion planting zones Put in where you live and you can figure out what type of onion seed to buy. And all the onion packets are marked with uh, short term, intermediate, or long day. Leeks, there's just one kind. Well, there's different varieties, but there's no short day, intermediate day, or long day. And again, you're just going to mix these in. Quarter of an inch to a half an inch. Just make sure they all get covered. And you're going to time this. So I'm in Maryland. The frost is usually gone by May 1st. But I'm going to try and get these in the ground beginning of April. So I can get some earlier onions. Really large leeks. And they can take a frost. Now, my starting mix has a little bit of worm castings in it. You don't have to put anything in there. After they break the surface and maybe they're about this tall, a light feeding of water-soluble fertilizer is good. 
And then to keep these going, when they get to this size, you're going to have to give them a very low dose of a water-soluble fertilizer, something that's really just like a one nitrogen, one phosphorus, one potassium, really, really low. Because while they can get really large in here, the roots can uh, mingle together, they're nearly indestructible, they suck life out of this little bit of soil, so you have to keep giving them the water-soluble fertilizer about every week or 10 days until you get them out in the garden. And that's all you really do is to start onion seed starts indoors. You do the same way for leeks. The seeds almost look exactly the same. And in fact, you can see some maybe right on the tips there. They look the same. And you literally, a flat like that probably has a thousand onions and leeks in there. You're only paying for the price of the seeds, the basic set up for the cells and the starting mix. So you can save yourself a lot of money and you can plant all kinds of varieties that you may not be able to find in stores or get in your standard uh, transplant bunches that when you go to like the big box stores. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out our YouTube channel. We don't run any ads. We just run great garden videos to help you in your garden. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.